Around the Island 2019, sailing an RS21. I'm Rosie. I'm Ella. I'm Emma. I'm Andy. Six minutes to go to last start. Pretty windy, and as you can see, it's very congested as it always is around the island. Uh, yeah, just looking good, just looking to get a clean start, not be over the line, and then I just pop the shoe and go! Woo! So we're two and a half hours in, and the wind <laughs> has just died. So, as you can see, there's no wind. Uh, we have, we're just drifting here. Uh, every, the, most of the fleet seems to be stuck in this wind hole. The guys on the main, the island shore seem to have a small gain. We're just spinning uncontrollably here. And yeah, hopefully we will get some pressure soon. You can see the needles over there. And that's where we're trying to get to. At the moment, doesn't look like we're gonna get there anytime soon. Six hours in. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so it's now ten past two. We've been racing for nearly six and a half hours. Uh, we've got five of the needles, which is always encouraging. And um, I feel like we're so closer to some cats now. Um, yeah. So the aim of end game for this leg is to catch the tide when it turns. So we stayed out in a bit better pressure for the first half of the leg, which seemed to do us reasonably well. And now, now as the tide started to turn in the last hour, hour and a half, we've been heading inshore and sort of tacking when we are basically going to hit the bottom, just because that's where the tides turn the most. Without a depth sounder, it is slightly harder to guess, so we're using other yachts as uh, our reference points. But yeah, the breeze has dropped off a couple of knots. I reckon we're only in about 10 to 12 knots here, um, and it's good. We're sailing around in 30-foot cruisers still, um, in the middle of the J70s. It's quite good. So we've been racing for over seven hours now. We're nearly at, we're nearly rounding to see Kipson Cats. Um, yeah, so we're, you can see here, and the war, it is toasty war. Oh, as, as regards to boat sir, we're now probably sailing about 18 knots. So, especially for those of you on the BKL, you can be out of this. So what we're just running lots and lots of backstay, as much cunning um, as possible. Uh, not, not crazy amounts of alcohol, so you just feel like it flattens off the bottom of the lane too much, but almost as much as you can pull on uh, whilst going in a straight line. Uh, as for the gym, we've got cars all the way out, and we're just cracking it off to open up the top of the main just to try and limit the backwinding in the back of the main. Um, feels quite nice, so we're ripping along. Probably do a slightly more tension on the rig, but not changing that now. And yeah, other than that, a little bit of bang just to keep some power on when I ease and reduce the main sheet load. Otherwise I'll get tired and we don't want that. We've been now racing for nine hours. Um, we're just south of Sandown and the wind has shut down again. Um, yeah, we've made good gains on the other RS21. We can now see them and we've extended from the one behind us. Um, there's not a lot of wind as you can see. Starting to test the patience. Now you're in your second shutdown of our fifth hour of drifting in this race. We've now been racing for 11 hours and with the wind dropping and no real pressure increase in sight as well as a foul tide, we've decided to call it a day. Uh, we've trying to, been trying to call it a day for a while now, but due to not having an engine on board on our boat, we have had to ask for a tow and no one normally gives it. We have been given a tow by a charter boat. We will find out their name and thank them greatly. So it's now seven o'clock. <laughs> We've been sat at Brembridge for and we want a tow. over two hours. <laughs> <laughs> and we're Thanks yeah, we're, we're pretty pretty fed up. <laughs> but it's okay because we're gonna finish. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's nine o'clock now. We're nearly back in Hamble. Um, the wind has now come from the west in the Solent, but it only got there as our tow reached about the finish line. Um, I, I, we can see boats are still finishing and we don't think we'd have finished yet. So, yeah, uh, there's quite a lot of boats have given up. There's a constant train of boats going into Hamble uh, here. And also there was an even bigger train going into Cowes. Looking back on the start, I would, in hindsight, I'd have liked to get there a little bit earlier. But, and also I'd probably have preferred to be slightly more into the deep water for the beginning of the race, just because we got stuck in the lee of the island which gave us quite a lot of dirty wind, as well as being in amongst a lot of 40-foot boats, which obviously doesn't help a 21-foot boat. <laughs> 